Just seconds apart, two 40 foot waves broke over the deck of the saga. Oh God, you guys. Oh God, you guys. Oh God. The first submerged the starboard rail just as the second wave hit, nearly capsizing the boat. I've never had that happen to me before. Mikey, Nick, and Brandon were swimming. There's no reason I'm a that six front foot man and it's over that. my head. Hey, dude. I don't mean to yell. I'm sorry. I no, know it's you not do, your fault. You but just that you was I'm up, still dude. shaking, too. But listen, when it came, only thing I could do is nail her in reverse as hard as I could. And there, that's a rogue wave. There's been nothing like that. Come on, come on to the boat today. I'm sorry for yelling. No, you I was scared to get out of me. I was horrible. I was close. If anything happened to anybody, I'd be sick to my stomach. It'd be the end of my career. I know. I know. I mean, there wasn't even time to try and do the steady beat that we talked about, you know? Oh, I know. I was at the block. I didn't I see know. it, and then all of a sudden, I'm It was barely, it wasn't in the trough. It was just barely on my port. And then this array is, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not really sure that there's anything you could do, but, you know, they're expecting a, a little bit of a warning or something, you know. It stacked up right in front of both of us. I mean, there was no time to even tell anybody. I went to go dump the crab toe. I was literally swimming. A wave like that, you gotta hear a warning or something so you can like duck for cover. Someone could have been seriously hurt from something like that. That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I've taken big waves and I've been on deck like that before. But I've never been up here and I've seen it. Yeah. You back? No. I don't either. You got first watch. Despite the storm, Let's see what's left of our deck. I'll be out there in a second. The crew must secure the deck or risk further damage. That was a lot too close for me. I don't even feel like going outside now, so I'm just gonna lay right here for a while. I'm scared us now. I. I had just today gained confidence about running the boat in high seas. For Jake, the excitement of his first trip at the helm has become a nightmare. 
I, I just want somebody else to sit in this chair right now so I can go somewhere else, anywhere else. I'll never forget that sound, dude. Right now, the guys are buttoning up everything, and I don't even want them outside. Like that, see? Uh, see, I don't want them on deck anymore. Let them clean up. Let them clean up. Let them put the check back together. I don't want to kill anybody. Tonight, man. No, no more. <clears throat> well, by the grace of God, nobody got washed off the deck. I'm scared. I'm sure they're scared. And now they they've got me up here too. Now that the professional took one, what's the new guy gonna do? I'm, I'm freaked out. I don't, I don't want to ha haul anymore. I wish I just wanted to just be a deckhand and that's it. But. I've seen a lot of big waves on deck before and been washed around and a lot of the times, you know, in the Northwestern, we just kind of laugh at, and, and sing screams and, and then we go on about our day, but I'm not on deck anymore and I'm in the wheelhouse and my mind's telling me to give up right now and just go home, just go get that easy job. What I'd give to just come back home right now. On the 32-meter saga. Ellie got bought out, so the owner hired me. It's officially my boat. Captain Jake Anderson prepares for his first full season at the helm. This is what the floor used to look like. So we got new flooring, we got new paint in here, we got new baseboards. By eliminating any remnants of the past. New seat cushions, which are really expensive. It's crazy how much they cost. It's, it's my boat now, like my boat. I'm responsible for it 100%. I want people to identify this boat with me, not with Elliot. Can we get some paint brushes? The last of Jake's upgrades. So I want to be the one who paints the name. I want to be the one who puts my name on it, you know? Given the logo a coat of paint. Well, just lower me down. It's not normal for the captain to come out and paint, you know, but this is really important to him. So, you know, it's a good thing. Yeah, go ahead and lower me down. All right, going down. Go ahead, Tim, you're good. OK, uh, I think we just have to knuckle in. Just across the dock, Oh, my God. Look at that clown. Why is the captain in a tote painting the boat? Why is the captain in a tote painting the boat? Stop around! Since Jake's departure from the Northwestern. That's something you do when you're on deck and you're 20 years old, not Mr. Captain. Skipper Sig Hansen has not been impressed with his ex-deckhand's progress. 
So I don't know what his angle is. Maybe he thinks he's going to win them over with his friendship. It's the wrong thing. You got to be the finger pointer. You got to be the guy that says what to do. You can lead by example. That's the wrong example. Every time I tried to paint the edge, he hung. You got a captain in a tote hanging over the side of the boat. What are you going to do? You're going to be respectful? Or you're going to take him down? Oh, my knees. Uh-oh. Here they come. I see a crew, dude. Dude, no. I got two more letters. I am a man. Dude, they come. it's not funny. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey. What the? What are you? Right there. Nick, what are you doing? Don't let him do anything. Leave him. Bring him up. You're supposed to set an example for your I crew. I thought this was the example. Yeah, hey. but you got five monkeys on the boat. Yeah. Why don't they paint it? Now they know that if they don't do it, I'll get my out here and do oh, it. Oh, yeah? Where they go. Oh, so you're leading by example. Exactly That's your point? Exactly what, what the point is. Do you agree with this? I don't know if it's no. right. I don't know if it's the way people do it. Edgar's the, my, the owner, and he doesn't say down. He would never. Down. Hey, hey. Stop! No, don't do it! Down! Shit, come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> what a knucklehead! Go up on it! That's hey. what a captain does. That's a ball, dude! Get off my Down! Get off! Get me out of here! Oh, by the way, the paint job looks great. <laughs> Anxious to put some crab in his tanks. Oh. Captain Sig Hansen wakes his crew from a few hours of beauty sleep. There's a lot of boats that have moved in two, four, six miles up the hill straight north of us. There was nobody out here when we first set. We, I just don't want to waste any more time. We're going to check a couple pots, it sounds like, just to see what's here, see what's in them. Put some crab in the tank, give them a home. It's a gamble. We're, uh, we haven't been out this far west since 2004. You guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Don't miss on the first one. Good luck. Oh, boy. We had a whole year to see this. Old school, baby. I got my fingers crossed, that's for sure. Full pot, full pot, please. No whammies, no whammies. No whammies. Please be some life. Please be some life. Sounds, sounds heavy. Come on, be heavy. Come on. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah! yeah. Woo! yeah. about. Looks pretty damn good. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Are they big? Big and clean. All right. We're in business. Five, seven. Fifty-seven! Five, seven. Roger. I'll take it all day long. Fifty-seven for the first spot's pretty good. Uh, okay. No, this is awesome. I feel much better. I mean, I was stressing. I was like, did you do the right thing? Did you throw your time away? Riders! Riders! Is that another rider? Yeah. Oh, really? Long, 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 long. Look at that. Right there. Woo! Hey. Yeah, a little up. Hey! Hey! Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Is there more in that one? Oh, yeah. Double. Woo! Two riders. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, they're going back right now. Get the bait in the box. Roger that. That's going right back over the side. Look at that pot of crab, man. They're still down there. Only two pots into the season. Oh, my God. The Northwestern hits the jackpot. 102. 102! That's how we do it! We missed it! 102! Yeah. 102! Yeah. Yeah. Eighty-five miles from land, on the 107-foot saga. So you better start reporting to me. There's people downstairs. What is going on? Shut it down. Is it on fire? No. <coughs> Starboard side clutch. Oh, God. I think it's the clutch burnt out. Smoke just starts pouring up. Oh, God. You should have a game of <laughs> the source of the toxic smoke, a burnt out clutch. My heart just dropped. Fire is the most dangerous thing that can happen on a boat. It's not flooding. We caught it just in time. The clutch is a padded ring that transfers power to the hydraulic system. As the protective padding wears over time, the shaft slips, causing friction, overheating, then fire. If the guys wouldn't have caught it, would eventually got to the hydraulic oil, erupted in an explosion, and we would all been dead. So thank God that the guys caught it. Although a quick response avoided a disaster. We were dead in the water, literally dead in the water. Jake has to shut down fishing until the clutch is repaired. I'm worried about 
the owner, and I'm, now I've got to worry about this, and this is a huge issue. I've got the owner breathing down my neck. If I don't catch the crab on time, he starts taking it. At the start of the season. I, I hate to say it, but I'll have to get somebody else to help you harvest the crab, which would mean less for you and the crew. Boat owner Lenny Herzog threatened to strip away Jake's quota if he didn't produce. Oh, dear God. One crab. Not good. Already off to a slow start. This delay could cost Jake and his crew their season. I know my engine room. I got no problem getting my hands dirty. Now it's do or die as captain and crew attempt to make short work of a major repair. Captain Jake Anderson is eight hours into a major clutch repair. After it filled the boat with toxic smoke. Until Jake completes the fix, the saga is just chewing up clock. After successfully installing a new clutch, I kicked that fire in the jaw. I said, out. <laughs> the young skipper can get back to fishing. It's 8 21 p.m. You guys ready to haul the first string of the day? Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Nice toss, Mr. Gribble. We are going to succeed, damn it, we are. Come on, baby! Come on. We need more than this. Nothing. 33 hours. Great. It's all bear dive. There's nothing in this. 450 miles northwest of Dutch Harbor on the 107 foot saga. Crunch time. I only have two days to fish. I need to leave on the 22nd for offload. I had planned to bring in two tanks minimum. The prospecting ate up a lot of time. One and a half weeks into his Opelio season, Captain Jake Anderson is staring at empty tanks and a 470,000 pound quota. Does the plant care? No. I have a delivery date. I have no choice. I need 45,000 pounds to be completely where I want to be. There is a lot of pressure riding on me right now. When we set this, which we're going to set, like, right now, you're going to have to be quick. We only have so many days left. Jake's ready to pick up the pace and get his pots in the water. It's Kenny. I have no idea. Please look for Kenny. But deckhand Kenny Jensen didn't get the memo. Run time for this. 
Did they wake you up already? Everybody's up. Everybody's been up. Yeah. Sleeping on the job when it on the line. Another one of Kenny's bold moves. Since joining the saga. You're not supposed to be drinking. Not on the job. Kenny has struggled with his demons. His focus. And his attitude. Kenny, get your off the deck. Off my deck. It's not really OK at all. I'm just trying to stay calm. Looks like a zombie. Oh, Please, Kenny, let's not do that anymore. Every second you waste matters. We'll get there. It'll happen. It's stuff like this that adds up. I got a set. Go ahead and let it ride, Sean. Here we go. I'm concerned, very concerned. And I still have a take at that as it needs to be topped off, just to make a processing plant happy. With an offload slated in just 48 hours. All I need is 20 more thousand pounds and I have a tank of crab. I've only got one full string that I can haul. One chance and just land on crab. Captain Jake Anderson's next string will have to hit where the skipper will come in short. Here we go. First pot. I'm hoping for big covers on this. I have a gut feeling there's going to be something in this. Hopefully it's cool crap. Fill the tank with that. I really thought that there was going to be a lot of crab coming on. Looks like we're eating off food stamps. <sighs> Please let it get better. Please let it get better. Oh, no crab. <laughs> In the ditch. Talking. You know, Kenny was already on my mind, you know. Pissed off at him for the way he talks, and it's just, you know, I just I give up. It just I get irritated. I don't want him in my head anymore. Oh, I can what a crowd right now. Staring at low numbers. It's gotta get better than that. I'm so over this. The skipper has no tolerance for Kenny's bad attitude. There's much more going on than just throwing the hook. I'm tired of his stupid mouth. Then Jake making me throw hell far into stupid buoys. Oh, that's all right. Kenny's got it. Jake's got to figure it out, but I'm not out here for nothing. Jake's really, uh, Jake's really, uh, hit or miss. I want to... Kenny, get your ass up to the wheelhouse right now. Yeah, you, right now. Just heads off. I hate having to yell at people. Mm. 
and you, you throw me a bad attitude. For that, I'm pissed about it. They don't say nothing, Jake. And I come up and I get. This boat don't need you out there. I'll fire right now. I should for sleeping on the floor. And I was nice about it. And I giving you because where are you standing by the rail the whole time, whining around? That's all you do. I work all the time. I know what the you do. So do they. What was the matter with me having a backbone? I ain't your little. I'm your captain. I clean all the spots that they don't clean. All the spots they don't clean, I clean. They didn't bust my. So this is how I get treated. Done. Quit it. I just, I couldn't have it in my head anymore. Kenny, I mean, he just wants to separate himself from the others. He only wants to notice what he does on the boat. But that's his own fault. I'm finishing my duties, what I have left to do, and I'm done here. We get the Dutch later. Back talk the skipper. Gave that the job. On the 107 foot saga. This is garbage. Garbage, garbage. We're in the wrong neighborhood. I like dirty and small on that one. We have a lot more work ahead of us, so. Can't help but to feel a little bit uh, defeated, but it's only one screen. I'm going to feel a lot better, though, when I do find the crab. I will. It's just a matter of when. I, I got oh, already got this float. Oh. He's still going. Are you kidding me, dude? Don't tell me the hydraulics stop. The, the pick and winch just stopped working. The hydro shut down leaving the 800-pound pot swinging dangerously. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying. Hey guys, watch out. Gosh, damn it. Hold on if you can. Just keep holding on to it, fellas. What the f I can't with Then you got a pot to swing it. Really, can't have that. I'm going to kill somebody. Yeah, we got lots of pressure. I don't understand this. It's almost like one of the valves is open and it's bypassing or something. Here it comes. Good job, fellas. Gosh, damn it. Don't worry about that. Just keep pushing forward. processing plant in St. Paul closes in 11 days. I still have crab that has to go there. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't have my crab into the plant. I can't stop hauling. Under pressure to produce, Jake continues to fish with unreliable hydraulics. Must dig through the to get to the gold. This boat, man. This is when I get mad at the people that had it before me. Austin, get the f away from there. Get away from there, dog. Come on, Austin. Come on. 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 Oh my god. I can't work on that. I can't do that, Jake. What the What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna kill somebody. 
pick stuck. It stopped working. My heart pounded. Hydrogs wouldn't go anywhere. The pot is up in the air, swinging wildly all over the place, ready to take out everything. <laughs> oh my. The pick stopped in the air. They're trying to hold on to it, and the thing swung way out. Everybody ran, and then I dropped the boom. Hydraulics are an issue. They're pissed. You can't fish like this. It's that kind of that makes me just want to go home. I don't want to put anybody in danger. I don't want to be in danger. That's it. Game over. We're going in. Unwilling to risk a catastrophic accident, Jake leaves his gear in the water and heads for port. Came out here to make money, not to get hurt. What a good morning. On the Cape Caution, after giving deck boss Nick McGloshan his shot, it's time for the captain's son, Zach, to take the wheel. What I'm thinking is we got like three strings left over here. We'll run those. Everything should have silk on it. Uh, I think, Zach, you can run this next string. So you might. Head up there and see what you got to do. Get it figured out. Let the guys one day know when they got to be out there. And okay. In the beginning, you should go for perfection. Go for like the smoothest, most exact motion you can. You know, it's look at it as like your own competition every spring. Okay. So you're pretty much going to be running west. You got to. This should be a pretty easy string to run other than it's in the dark so have some fun but think about it you want to be the best you can be so okay oh captain's on deck again i'm not worried about making my dad proud i'm just worried about doing a good job keeping the guys safe you know i ran it both this summer and even if he doesn't ever pat me on the back for it and publicly say that i did a good job I know I did a good job. The next step for me is just, you know, running crab boats. My dad decides to buy into a boat and something, I hope that I'm that option to go with. It has nothing to do with me being aggressive about it. I still, I want it. I just. You don't have to always be the first guy through the door. Two more in the water here. Now I got to figure out what to do with them. Last one coming up, guys. Good job. Thank you. Hey, you did a fantastic job, Jack. And the moment of truth, get the report from the boss. How'd you do? I was going to ask you that question. I'll t tell you this short and sweet. I really would like you to come up and talk about how and why more. For me to be involved in that vote, I would like to see a lot more effort on this. You have your foot in the door with the tendering. I just don't want you to think that anybody's ever just going to say, here, Zach, go crabbing. With... I never said that. Well, I'm just telling you, Zach, if you, if you want the seal of approval, if you want to do it, you got to put more effort into it. Come talk to me. I'll be happy to try to explain some of this to you. That's I, part of the reason I'm still doing this, is so you can make the step. And I know I'm sometimes at saying thanks and you did a good job. But at the end of the day, it's my goal to do the best job I can and I'd love to teach you more about what I do. On the 107 foot saga. This is the string that's probably going to make or break us. Fishing-wise, it's been a trip from hell. I'm sure financially, it's been a trip from hell. After a disappointing offload, rookie captain Jake Anderson approaches his town soak. Well, this string was set north and south about three days ago. It's got soak on it. It should have crab. 
after this, I really don't know what to do with it. Ray's gone here, now I'm all on my own. Under the wing of Relief Captain Ray Flerchinger for the last trip. I won't have anybody to ask for help. I won't have anybody to keep me calm if something happens in the engine room. This trip, Jake will go it alone. This is the moment when the bird flies from the nest or falls straight to the ground. Coming on the back. Well, here we are, another hero or zero moment. That's exactly what we need. Now, if I can get a good average through 250 pots, we'll be done. The crab here looks really, really clean. We're going to fill this bowl very quickly. Clean in house. That's the worst news that this boat could possibly hear. Northwest of Dutch Harbor. Aboard the Saga. Well, I just got bad news, and that is that the ice is coming to cover up our fishing grounds. The fast moving ice pack has forced Captain Jake Anderson to abandon the best fishing he's had all season. Having to move off grounds that we just found, and we know there's crab here. I don't even know what to think of it. It takes too long. You have to sit down with Jake and give him a big old hug. He's getting on the crab. All I can, all I can say, keeping us safe. It's going well. All right, guys, about five miles. Uh, I try to hustle up. Yeah, I'll meet you guys in the galley. I don't even know what to say to him. Now, the skipper must break the bad news to the crew. So, what's going on? I just got off the radio with Sig, and um, the ice is coming. It's not looking good because it came down fast. That was fine when we were in St. Paul. But now we're going to have to pick up the gear and run it south to get it out of the ice. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys have been working your off. Going to get through it. We're going to get through this. Good, but we can't stay. I mean, it all sucks, but I mean, I guess we just gotta quit, quit, go through it. And I'm just getting respect from the crew. It was, it, I can see it was changing. You know, maybe this guy is our leader. Maybe he is good. is coming to cover up our fishing grounds. So I'm not very happy right now. 
Rookie skipper Jake Anderson faces yet another tough test at the helm. We only have so much time. Because I, I want to get this thing done. These guys want to get this done. It's been, it's been a nightmare season. And I cannot wait to get home to my wife and baby. But I'd rather be safe than sorry any day out, out here. With a 730 mile wide ice pack bearing down from the north. The game plan is to stack all these on and move 58 miles south. The young captain retreats to safer grounds. best fishing we've seen all season. It's just sad that we got to go. We're about at a 200 average. It's too bad we can't get the rest of them out right here. I think in a couple days, we're going to be begging for 200s. It looks like nice crab, but unfortunately, we can't stay here. It sucks having to run away from our new home. We started to find crab, now we got to leave. Jake's got something up his sleeve. Maybe we should just stay here. Uh, it is what it is. Not much to think about. Never ending. Joke. It'd be better if Elliot was here. He, you know, he would almost be done by now. A lot better fisherman. They don't get it. I'm just saying it would be better if Elliot was here. Said Paul. No, he shouldn't be here because he f up. That's why I'm here. And if those don't realize that, then they're just as stupid. I mean, basically, what they've said is they'd rather have a junkie running the boat than me. That's what they've said. This sucks. They think they're so smart. They think they've got everything figured out, and Elliot's their savior. Where El where's Elliot now? Where is he? I brought us crab. That's not enough. I give them sleep. That's not enough. I'm doing my best to get them home safely, and that's not enough. <laughs>